Hey! I swear to God, every time I try to start a video, there's like a loud truck goes by, isn't it? It's, <laughs> it's like, signature. It's like a thing. It's a signature. So, hey everybody. So, today we're in Elizabethan. Um, we're going to check out a few of the antique stores here and um, yep. see what develops. Yep. So, follow us. To start here at the wicked wit keep calm and eat candy corn sounds like a plan yeah no, i personally like candy corn if you like candy corn leave a comment below <laughs> if you don't like candy corn leave a comment below and black jelly beans and make fun of me um <laughs> they have gorgeous jewelry too handmade jewelry over crystals and rocks. Look, pixie dust. Oh, how pendants. cute. <laughs> pixie dust, yeah, that, that little tiny jug. Little That's tiny pretty clear awesome, jug. isn't it? T-shirts. Tie-dye t-shirts are really cool. They're beautiful. Yep. Let's see what it says on. The Wicked Wit. Very pretty. They got a lot of um, nature and natural things represented. Here we go. <laughs> Look at this sweet guy. A little turtle. I guess his name is Pebbles. <laughs> she. She. Her name is Pebbles. <laughs> and this this is funny, but here we got some fossilized turtle poop. <laughs> That's funny. They actually have white sage, rosemary, cedar, and mugwort, uh, $5 a bundle. And, and those of you who know what it's used for, um, this. This is something that I would definitely use. I, I believe that it does help clear the air. And smudge sticks. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. So you can smudge stuff. <laughs> but they get all kind of stuff in here, really cool stuff. Yeah, so you stand back here. That's yeah, I like their thing here in the metal. Yeah, the decor in here is very well done. The display cases are very well done. Hey, and those. Aren't those those um, pendulums? Yes. Yeah, so you hold it and they, they move. Yep, they do. I I have seen it work. I I have done it. It does work. No sense denying it, folks. So the wicked wit. Yep, that was very cool in there with their plant life and their like, rocks. And the rocks and the incense and yeah, the, the smell handmade was awesome. and homemade things. Nice. So they have a nice little seating area Court here. Through the um, center of uh, the businesses. Yeah, there was the covered bridge. Beautiful mosaics. That's Roan Mountain. That's a depiction of Roan Mountain. Yeah. And there's ones over here over on the, the other, other side. side too. Yeah, so this is part of the Breezeway Enhancement Project. And the Tweet Sea Train. And what else do they got down here? Blue hole. We've, we've You've been, been there. to that. We yeah. have that on video. It's the last one. Cabin at Fort Watauga. Huh. So we just, go ahead. We're just sitting here on the park bench and there's Texas Baptist men. Disaster relief. Disaster relief, bringing heavy equipment in and doing the work in this area that yep. we need done. It's coming from the volunteers and the states and the counties around the affected areas. I don't see any FEMA or government doing this, no. folks. These are volunteers. Yeah, that's and straight out of Texas. And hearts of people doing this. You know there's no heart in government. No. Uh, here's a buried in burlap. Out here in front of the Troutman Agency, Home Auto Business Life Insurance Agency. Yeah. But lots of stuff for for Halloween. Yeah, each business, um, pretty much each business has some form of uh, Yeah, so, so pretty cool thing they have here too is a retired flag drop. And cool clocks here in the middle. They, they also have the, 
see if I can get it without the sun. United States of America. Uh, One Nation Under ve God. Yep. A Veterans War Memorial. Right. Which we'll take just a quick look at here. Because there's lots of... Hopefully the music doesn't override this. But... They have for... Desert Storm, Enduring Freedom, the Vietnam War, Korea. Some gave all, never forget for freedom. World War II, World War I. And the Eternal Flame. It doesn't look like it's burning though. It's not. It's not on right now. Hey, more. Antiques and collectibles. Oh, I was going to say more Halloween. Oh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Corella DeVille. Well, scenario. Welcome to the Eagle Center Antiques. Yep, Eagle Center Antiques. That's where we're going to stop at next. They have cute windows. They do have cute windows. <laughs> First up on the agenda. If I wanted to, you would be coming home with me, Mr. Santa Claus. No. Not today? No, we just got rid of all our Christmas stuff. Oh, honey. I need to replenish. No. Woo! Oh, pretty. Blue Ridge Pottery. Look at that collection. It's yeah. gorgeous. That's a cool, unique Victorian rocker. Definitely different. Oh. Raggedy Ann. Oh, what? What? I just see the transfer weird terrines. They're from like the um, early 1900s. Gorgeous. And the Fasteria crystal. It's gorgeous glass. So I need to start questioning. Stephanie's making an awful lot, a lot of, of yummy, yummy noises, noises. <laughs> and, it, and it's not including me. So. so the the eye candy in this antique store, in the Eagle Antique Store, is so good. This vendor is sweet too. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying this vendor so very very much. But you know, I got a husband that says place and purpose. Every time I make a yummy noise, place or purpose. If we don't have a place for it, and it doesn't have a purpose, then it's not going home. I remember this from the last time we were in here, which has been probably over a year ago, but they have a lot of face jugs in here. Really cool ones, too. Love face jugs. Yeah, these are averaging 150, 60, 70, 190. Yeah, that wow. Cool. Look at that yeah. flower pot. Awesome, right? Awesome. How awesome is that? Punch and Judy, love. Yeah, and it, it's got to be a bang. It has uh, cast iron little things on it. I'm not sure turn. how it works. He was moving. Yeah, but it's a cast iron bank. That is pretty awesome. Creepy dolls brought to you by I, Stephanie. Do you know what? I remember okay. that little Debbie doll that's back here. You could order her from the back of the little Debbie boxes huh. if you got enough. And little doll slippers. They're shaped like cats for doll oh slippers. God. Or maybe they're pet slippers. Look at the old medicine rack right here, honey. The old medicine rack. It's got the cod liver wool. Yeah. With the label still on it. Some salves. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Flower sulfur. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Really sure how this curling iron would have worked. And this, we think you put the um, pleats in in dresses with this, pleats and skirts, it with this. And there's a bunch of them down here. Yeah. And with all the um, sat irons, here's another one that we think you put pleats in. It could be. If if you know for sure, leave us a comment below. Vintage Dutch dolls. They even got their little wooden shoes. Well, look at their little flate faces. It's not even porcelain. Um, some type of bakelite, maybe? Some type of... Yeah, um, probably. First kind of 
older plastic with soft bodies, wooden shoes, in excellent condition. And so, heading downstairs. This is a good greeting, coming into some Christmas Santa. Look at these elves. Yeah, see, I don't like them these, at all. I've got, a, I've got a daughter, Sarah. What do you think of this one, honey? I bet you don't have this guy in this color. He's super cute. So, I, I have no idea what a dairy surge milker is. Or how it works. Or how it works, but there is one. So that's different. So, we found a 1941 clock calendar. That's different, right? Um, 1941. <laughs> I'm assuming you would use these blank spots to write in yeah, but, but for yeah. your for your Monday at 7 p.m. Where what and when you'd be doing? Hmm. Cole, right? Here's some atrocious 70s furniture. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely flashbacks, oh my 60s goodness. and 70s um, vendors. Yeah. But amazing collection, I would say. Amazing collection. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> <laughs> Found a smiley. Hey. You can't, you can't be sad if you see that. Is that the dollhouse you had? You know, yes, it, and it can't, I think so, because it had that kind of plastic furniture. So the, the bay window here and the window inlet insight are, are plastic. So I think that's the kind that I had. Hmm. This is what Stephanie likes to say. That's what I look like too when I say it. Yep. I am digging this. Well, I'm digging all this like little primitive um, pin cushion and this little rag doll. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And the signs. Oh boy. All right. So, oh. welcome to the Vintage Elk. So, this will be the next one we go into. What a cool sign to welcome you into the door. Um, it's a car door, probably a beetle bug door. Now, this one we haven't been into before, have we, honey? Nope. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah, that looks like the one your mom made you. Yeah, similar. Yep. yep. Wrong colors, but yeah, like that elephant. These are what they used to call rubbers. These yeah. little boots you slip on over your shoes. Rubbers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can really feel the age in these pieces that are in here, and um, they're very, very clean and. Yeah. Yep, well displayed. I don't like this with the cowboy hats hanging on it and the ducks. No, that's stunning. That's an old Isn't barn it? door. How well done is that? Yeah. You see the worm coming out of the apple lunchbox? <laughs> that's funny. Super cute. Norman Rockwell. What else do we got here? <laughs> I remember that guy. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? I don't know. Does that look like an Eskimo to you? I don't know. Sitting on the world. Yeah, vintage Eskimo doll. Just clever, singular pieces all the way through this. Red bureau or dresser, chalkboard, suitcase. I had one of these. Who didn't have one of those? Nice, nice display pieces. Ironing board. Wow. Weird lamp. Super weird lamp. <laughs> I'm just chilling on the couch. Let's see what Lee's doing.
What you doing, honey? I'm chilling on the couch. But yeah. Let me tell you something. Vintage clothing back here. Look at this. Th these couches were not made for your comfort. It's the most beautiful sofa. It is Stephanie's favorite kind of furniture. And, Lee's, and Lee is enjoying Lee's it right now. Favorite. So there's that. So you can't sit this way without it's, having this yes, nail in the end of It's back. short. Yes. And, yeah. And well, the style was based on the clothing that they used to wear as well. So if you had a bustle under your dress, you didn't have to sit the whole way back. Oh, so I guess you would. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting proper. There you go. I like to see you sit proper once, oh. you and your posture. <laughs> there it is, in a nutshell. Okay, well, I'm shopping. I'm leaving him here. Vignette is super pretty. I love, love how they did that. Not to mention a collection of clowns right across from it. Went from classy to clowny. Yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh my Pinball gosh, machine. yeah. That's like, I think that's kind of seven, late 70s, 80s, early 80s. Pinball machine. And I thought this was cool too. Hello and the uh, light bright. Yeah, light bright. Yep. I mean, the way the things are displayed in the store is very well done. Yes. Very, very well done. Great. Right. Duck Crossing Antique Mall. There's Yay. their uh, hours of operation. Yeah. Monday Sundays. through Friday. Recommended on TripAdvisor. And we're heading in. Heading in. Following Stephanie. So I dig the Victorian vibe in this booth with the corbels and the ornate carvings. Come on now. This is this is pretty stunning. Stunning booth. I hear another I'm gonna have to look this up to a sterilizer cabinet. It's got an electric plug on it and a switch and then this to open the lifts it up it has a nozzle which i don't know releases the water from it maybe if you filled it up with yeah, water i don't know what is it sterilizing we don't know so we'll have to oh look what i see a track player yeah. i thought it was a cb but it's a a track a track <laughs> player Wow. Okay, I know somebody in the Brady Bunch had one of those. <laughs> Obviously, that was one of the Brady Bunches. I mean, previously owned sure, by the... Sure does look like it. Family member. Oh, five little ghosts. Yes, all throughout the store, they have little baskets full of kids' books for $1.50 each. Oh, this one. This is cool. This is what greets you when you walk into this vendor. It's a great uniform. World War II. Yeah. Yep, World War II. And a bunch of different military uniforms. And their significant patches. Yep. It's a QB pink carnival glass um, toothpick holder. Oh, God. Have you ever? No. They are asking $13 for it. Can you see the QP in the little glass? Yes, it's crazy. So crazy. Never seen nothing like that. So adorbs. They, they do have a great setup along the, the top. Of yeah, the... the top bordering the main level of the store yeah. is pretty stunning with it, their pieces. And there is three floors in here, so. You can't go wrong. But it's a grumbly. I never. <laughs> never. Nope, I've never. Don't know what nope, or why. Nope. And on our lifelong mission, we found naked Barbies. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Every store has naked Barbies. Yes, that's true. Let's go up another level, love. Uh -huh. Second floor. Let's, Going up. This will be the third floor. The top of Lee, Lee's still standing on the steps. And I'm stopping to look. That is gorgeous. There's got a little birdhouse for spring, summer, the apples, pumpkins. Shoot, cool. Oh, this is a nice. That's a nice set. Oh, geez. I kind of, I kind of like the. And they have the recipes on them. Oh yeah, those. I remember getting those. 
you put all the recipes inside the dish, all the ingredients inside the dish, and that would be the gift. I remember doing that. Okay, um, this antique mall and this vendor's asking $10 for this doll. I would actually definitely get this because one of my fondest memories was going to the Bloomsburg Fair and winning a doll just like this. She was this high, her dress was this huge, and um, this would all have been feathers sticking off the top of her hat. So I would, just because it was such a fond memory and just seeing it right now, it was pretty crazy. I don't know what I had to do at the game, but there was a game you had to play and you could win this doll and I remember it. That's Stephanie and her. So I have a christening dress and a bonnet and uh, what a beautiful shadow box. Uh, it's just, that's just perfect. <laughs> petticoats, huh? Were you looking for petticoats? No, I was looking for petticoats. And some of the old vintage outfits they have I think we gotta go here. back a little farther than the 50s for petticoats. Some of the crazy, crazy hats. Yeah. Yep. That's rare you ever see a cape with the wedding dress. Hmm. That's just gorgeous. That's a beautiful. And that one almost looks like it's trying to be Dracula. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's his cape. Well, maybe this could be construed as a costume. It's a vintage vampire costume. Look at that, see? Nailed it. Nailed it. $45, uh, and it looks like really good quality. We deserve yeah. we deserve a, a like, a thumbs up for that. Yeah. <laughs> we pointed something out correctly instead of right. misinformation. <laughs> but they do they do have a lot of a lot of vintage, vintage clothes. Crazy cool, gorgeous cloud candy. I mean it, yeah, hats, that hat. these blouses, they I mean they're in great shape. Stephanie's dream house. The king of doll houses. So looky here. It's got a pe stone pebble, fireplace, wooden and like, porcelain furniture. Yeah, that'd be comfortable, wouldn't it? Oh, stop. <laughs> they have a little mod for me. But the rooms are nice and big. It even has a bathroom sitting back here. An outside <laughs> bench. I bet you this goes on the outside for a bench. It has places where lighting can go in, honey. Yeah. That's supposed to be a ceiling fan with light. Hmm. And the kitchen, is that built in? Nope, it's removable. Huh. I'm sorry, I don't know anything about Icy Ike. But, isolated drink. Hmm. All up, or, or old colony beverages. Yeah, I don't know that either. Rainbow premium plant food, jumbo. Cola, cola. no. Nope, nope, I got nothing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, out here in the window nice. display, the, they have a picture of the What's covered bridge. What's that called? Technotype? I don't know, but it's pretty cool. You got a lot of nice stuff here, really. Yeah, yeah, if you can't go wrong walking down the downtown Elizabethan. Right, so we want to thank everybody for watching. That's going to do it for this video. And, and we just received the local love, local strength for rejuvenation of this area. Yeah. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, have, have a, a Stephanie day. day.